Mission start! So what we've just done is unjailbroken Denzel's iPod, and we'd show you the screen, but to show you the screen, we need to have it jailbroken. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Go. No. All right, so uh, some of you may be a little bit confused on what's going on with the uh, 3.0.1 firmware, and uh, I'm going to explain it for you real quick in uh, you know a couple sentences. Basically, what's going on is that Apple released 3.0 to iPhones and iPod Touches, um, and for the iPhones, there's been a couple glitches and errors and stuff. And basically, what the Apple did was that they upgraded or allowed for an update, which is basically just a bug fix in 3.0.1, which is so minor and I guess just like sort of hastily done that you can basically jailbreak using the uh, still existing Red Snow 0.8, which we'll be using today. And so what we have today is a second generation iPod Touch, and uh, we'll be able to use Red Snow 0.8, which is right here. And uh, what you need for today is you need a uh, the ISPW of your current firmware and the correct version of it. So uh, there's gonna be a link in the description. You just go to Felix Burns' website and then scroll down to your appropriate package. And you were looking for 3.0.1 for iPhone and 3.0 for the iPod Touches. And what you're going to be greeted with is this screen. You said a lot of words without stopping. Yeah. <laughs> really bad. I can hold my breath for a while. I can, I'm a, a pretty good talker. So what you're going to do is you're going to browse for the ISPW. We have it on our desktop right here. And so it should take a couple seconds. Um, but yeah, so blah, 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 right there and open that up. It's going to verify. Even if you're on 3.0.1 with an iPhone, you still can use the 3.0 firmware. In fact, if you go to the dev team, I guess I'll throw a link to their uh, website in the description. Mm -hmm. Their latest post is talking about that and will basically give you instructions on what to do. But yes, use the 3.0 firmware as your uh, restore stuff and you'll be just fine. So first step would be to update your iPod or iPhone using iTunes, which we've already done in our previous video. And once it's updated and all clean and ready to go, then you would go into this step. So now it's, uh, it's verified our ISPW, we go to next, it's doing all its crazy preparing jailbreak stuff. So jailbreaking has gotten a lot easier over the years. Yeah, it used to be you need to, needed to have some sort of command line knowledge and stuff, but right now it's just basically anyone can do it. And, and I think that's a great thing because... Um, it's still only some IC. Yeah. And uh, you're going to be greeted with this screen. So uh, for those of you who are new to jailbreaking, Insidia is a package installer. Uh, we have some How to City videos up on our channel, which uh, basically give you the brief rundown on that. And uh, Icy is what RipDev has put out as a Cydia substitute. So back in the day, back in 1.1.3, 1.1.4, uh, the first generation iPod, uh, they used to have installer and since installer is not doing well anymore so now it's under the ownership of a different company they've stopped supporting installer and have created IC which is basically a lightweight version of Cydia that loads faster and stuff like that All right. yeah. so we're going to go ahead and check both because both are always fun to have because they're usable in different situations so we're going to go to next and uh, it says you know basically follow the unstream question make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer um, so yeah you, we're just going to go ahead and flip ours off slide it and Turn it off. All right, and then once it is off, then we are going to go ahead and enter into DFU mode. And that basically puts your iPod into a mode where the jailbreaking data can be uploaded and give you Cydia and as we checked or whatever, Icy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do this final step, which is gonna be pretty tricky and uh, you need to really pay attention to the on-screen directions or it will not work. So I'm gonna have Denzel, Click next, and what I'm going to do is follow the on-screen instructions, which will tick away. So go ahead and hit next. Are you sure you're ready? I am ready. Go. Extreme. Hold down the power corner button for. Do you guys see how extreme this is? E extreme button holding and pressing. 
For, for set durations? For set durations. Wow. Well, they are clearly laid out in front of your eyeballs. I am sweating bullets. What does that even mean? I never thought about that before. Sweating That's a really dumb bullets. saying. Uh, if you were sweating bullets, you'd be dead. Thank you, Kyle, for that. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to wait for a reboot. And sometimes this doesn't work out all right, well with Red Snow. And so what I usually do is, because I'm impatient, it may do this after a while or something. I just unplug it and plug it back in. I don't know if this is safe or not, but the white, it will white flash, and then it will move on to the next stage. Don't be worried if your whole screen is white, because it just keeps flashing white and stuff. And then you will get this image. Um, I'm sure you've seen it on a lot of YouTube videos. It's just like a, a like what it looks like on my, un, my untitled hard drive thingy on my desktop with a green arrow on it, and it says downloading jailbreaking data. And, uh, yeah, so basically, I think that's all. I think that there's any, anything else to add. Then you just sit and wait. Yep, and so, um, yeah, so I guess we will uh, cut the video. And when we get back, we'll give you a nice screenshot of Denzel's brand new... Jailbroken iPod Touch. All right. You can see the Cydia and the IC. Yeah, that we checked there. Um, if you have any questions on how to do it, ran into some issues, um, go ahead and leave it in the comments or PM us. Um, I think that's all, though. Yep. Yeah. And so now uh, you can go off and do illegal or not <laughs> approved by Apple things. And if you have any issues with Cydia or questions on how to use it, you can always request another episode of How to Cydia. And uh, I think that's all. All right. Alright, thanks for watching. Good day. Woo.